today we're super excited. We got our iPhone 10s. We're loving them. And we can't believe we ever lived without them. That's right. Getting up in the middle of the night paid off. We got them last Friday and we've been having so much fun with them. Now we put together a few videos to help you understand the differences between the way things used to work and the way they work on the 10. So, so let's, let's take, take a look. look. So here we are on our beautiful iPhone 10, and we are so in love with it. And I think the first thing you notice is the beautiful edge-to-edge -edge screen, right? Right, exactly. It's just gorgeous. Now, there's a little notch out at the top for the camera and the mic and such, and that takes away a little bit of room for some of the things that you might be used to seeing up there, like Do Not Disturb and the alarm clock. But we'll show you where they've moved those. That's right. Other than that, otherwise, it just goes edge-to-edge, -edge and it's Gorgeous. It's a beautiful screen. And the funny thing is, it's actually um, a smaller phone than the i plus 7 with the bigger screen. That's right. And I had a, an iPhone 7 Plus, and I love the bigger screen, but I didn't like the big size of the phone. Right. So I am so happy to have this phone that yes. I can slip in my pocket, but the screen actually is longer this way a little bit. It's a tiny bit narrower, uh -huh. but I, I missed that for maybe two seconds, oh, and I'm, I'm all about this new yeah. screen size. And I didn't have the Plus because I didn't want that giant phone, so I'm loving it. I feel like I've got this beautiful big screen, and it's fantastic. It's awesome. Another thing that you'll notice right away is where is the home button? Uh-oh, where's the home button? This yep. was the huge scuttlebutt, right? There's right. no home button. No What's home button. Happen? How are we going to do it? Well, it's all about gesturing. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and tap on Safari and go into Safari and then show you how to get out of Safari or any app that you're in. You, you want to go back to the home screen. Swipe up from the bottom. Yep. So you're in an app, you just anywhere you want along the bottom, you just swipe up. It's so smooth and easy to use. Yep. And it's so intuitive because they've made it your, the swiping gesture right where the home button was. That's right. So it's you, it was, it was, took me no seconds to get used to it. That's you know right. what I mean? Yeah. I was like, what was all the big right. the hubbub over? And now when you go to your, when I go to my iPad, I'm lost because yeah, I have to I use the home button and button. I find myself <laughs> swiping up all the time and it's not working. But So the gestures are great. Let's, let's keep looking at them. Yeah. Well, first thing what we're going to do is we're going to start out at the home screen because there's some changes on there or the okay. lock screen, lock screen. excuse okay. me. So I'm going to, you do the same thing. The buttons are the same on the, on this phone. You've got the volume up, volume down and the, and the switcher on the left. Okay. And on the right, you've got the power off. So we're just going to tap that once and we're out to the, to the no, yep. unlocked phone. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and tap in the middle to wake it up. Oh, did you see the padlock switch? That's how, how an easy face ID works. That's right. You've she, got a padlock yep, up here. We have a great video on that. Right. And we'll link it in the description. That's right. Now down here, you're going to notice that we have two icons um, that we didn't have on the home screen before. You can just press and hold to turn on your flashlight now. Super Yay. easy. Press and hold and you're in the camera app. Nice. Swipe up and you're back to the home screen. I love the flashlight. Yeah. Having it out like that. It's really nice. It's so clunky to go, go into the control yeah. center. Of it. Now I'm going to swipe up to open and we're back to the home screen. Perfect. And now let's take a look Where? at... No, oh, sorry. Oh, Where is right. the control center? The control center is in the upper right. You okay. swipe down from the upper right Ingestion. of the screen and you've got your control center. Isn't that awesome? Right. And here along the top are all those things that it isn't showing us Whoops, on the home screen right. anymore. Like we've like got our... your alarm clock and your do not disturb. And Bluetooth <laughs> and everything. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe up again and we're back to the home screen. And now let's see about getting into the app switcher because you okay. used to do that by double clicking on the home button, which was really hard for a lot of people to do. Yeah, um, do the right speed of double the click. The right speed yeah. of double clicking was super hard. So it's actually a lot easier to get into it. You just swipe up from the bottom and you pause in the center and, and now you're in is. your app switcher. Isn't that great? Yep. And to delete apps, you used to just swipe up from here. That doesn't work anymore. That'll actually take you into one of the apps or back to the home screen. Let me get back into awesome. it. No. So what you're going to do is you're going to tap and hold down on any of these screens and you're going to see the red minus switch come up in the upper left hand corner. You find the app you want to crash or close and you just tap on it. You can also swipe up. Once you've got those red, those red switchers, then you can swipe up. Right, right. So let's just call this getting into kind of the edit mode within the app switcher. Right. And to get out of it, well, we just tapped on an app. So let me go back into it. by. Pausing and tapping, and now we're in just the regular app switcher for moving around. Tap and hold on one of the screens, and you're in the edit mode where you can crash the apps or swipe up to get rid of them. Perfect. Very easy to do. And the notifications, uh, those are the same. You pull down from the top. Pull down from the, the top. The widgets, you swipe left. 
Right. Swipe right. I mean. Yep. And then, whoops, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Too much, too much there. And then once you're in there, you swipe right and you're into the camera too. So those are the same. So those are all the same. Yep. The button's a little bit different now. Another thing you used to use the home button for is, yeah. is for okay. doing, use of the buttons is a little bit different. The buttons aren't different, but you used to um, use the home button to take a screen grab. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to use the volume up button on the left and the power button on the right, and you've got your screen grab. Perfect. Yep. And there's the lovely iOS 11 screen grab feature, and we have a great video on that. Link it. We'll link it in the description. Right. And then the other thing you can do with these buttons is get into the power down mode. So if you hold the down volume button and the button on the right, it's going to bring us into this mode where you can slide to power off to permanently turn off your phone. Um, if you need to really do a hard reset, you can do that. Yep. You can also access the medical ID. So mm -hmm. if you're doing this on someone else's phone, you just hold the volume down and the button on the right, and you're going to be able to get the medical ID or the emergency SOS. Perfect. To get out of it, we hit cancel. Yes. Now, I think one more thing about the app switcher. Show them when you're in an app how you can easily go from app oh, to right. app. This is so cool. So I'm in Safari, and if I get along the bottom and I swipe, boom, I'm in <laughs> other app. apps. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really nice. And when you're within an app that has multiple pages, like let's get back to Safari. Oh. Whoop, where'd Safari go? Well, that's okay. That's well, okay. anyway, you can just swipe in between the screens within an app yeah. By being so up in the center. So if you're up center. higher, it's going to swipe within an app. Right. If you're way down the bottom, it's going to swipe, swipe between your between apps. Between your apps. I love that feature. It's really nice. Yeah. So, I mean, and Siri uh, works a little bit the same. You can say the magic word, H-E-Y, and then Siri. We right. don't want to do that because then our, our phone that's filming will bring it up. That's and right. We ruin. You can do it that way or show them how to use the buttons. Right. Now. So you can use the button on the right, which I think this is a really much easier way to invoke Siri. So you tap and hold or you press and hold on it and Siri will come up. Right. And before that was a home button feature. That's right. So you just tap again and you're out of Siri. So it's real easy to go into Siri and out of Siri. Right. All in all, it's a fabulous phone. Love the gesturing. The gesturing. It's just so intuitive. It's so intuitive. I, it makes and me wonder, like, how did we ever do it the other way? That's right. And the face ID yep. and the app switcher, and it's just a fabulous phone. Great. So if you've been thinking, you know, oh, there's no home button and this weird gesturing, don't worry about it. Go ahead, get yourself an iPhone 10. Thanks for learning with Sync Sisters. Well, thanks for watching our video today. We so love making these videos and bringing you this free content, but we do need your support. Right. So how can you support us? First of all, don't skip the commercials. That's how any creator makes money on YouTube. Um, like our video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And another great way is to go to our website using the link on the screen and um, shop through our Amazon link. Same secure Amazon shopping that you love at no extra cost, but it really helps support us to bring you these great videos. Right. So thanks for learning with us and thanks for supporting us.